Good morning guys and welcome back to another video here in India, specifically in Kochi. Yes, I am spending another day, another couple days in Kochi here. I'm actually leaving the Ramada Hotel or as they pronounce it, the uh, Ramada. I learned that because people never knew when I was saying Ramada, uh, Ramada. And so, yeah, actually I'm heading over to the Fort Kochi Beach area. I'm gonna be staying over there. I loved where I was staying at the uh, Ramada because it was kind of like secluded out here. It was a nice kind of like dive into my first few days um, here in Kochi. But now I wanna kind of be like in things and Fort Kochi Beach is where it's happening. That's where I'd say like the majority of the hotels are to if you wanna like explore that area. And to be honest, I only went down to the Fort Kochi Beach area my first night when I shared with you guys my first impressions. So if you wanna see that video, make sure you check the link in the description below. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna be cruising over there, staying there probably a couple nights and sharing with you guys some food over there, other things to do. And so I'm really excited for it. But for now, we're taking probably like a 25 minute cruise over there uh, in an Uber. And so once we get there, we're gonna do a bit of a hotel tour for you guys and show you where we're gonna be staying. The name of the hotel we're going to is called uh, Fragrance Nature, or, yeah, Fragrant Nature Kochi, there it is. Yeah, and I wanna say I'm paying maybe 140 for two nights plus 17 in taxes. So let's say basically 150 for two nights, so $75 per night, but it is like a five-star hotel. So I wanted to take you guys with me and show you guys what it's gonna be like staying in a five-star hotel in the Fort Kochi Beach area. And so I'm excited to show you guys what this place has to offer. We'll see you over there. Okay, so we're about 10 minutes away. And as you can see here, the uh, place we're going to is actually a massive island. Like uh, the way this area of India is, it's a bunch of like little islands right off the coast there in Kochi. So this whole area in Fort Kochi Beach is just a massive stretch here. So we're gonna be going right up to the tip of this one right there, and that'll be our destination. As you can see, we've got some Indian traffic across the road. We've got some goats right there. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> Yeah, let's go! <laughs> let's go! <laughs> Habibi, come to Kerala! <laughs> let's go, Habibi, come to Kerala! <laughs> oh yeah, guys, I knew when we were driving up to them. I was like, these guys look like they have the energy to uh, hop on the camera. I love that that's a trend here, guys. Habibi, come to Kerala. <laughs> Well, we got them surrounding us now. They're back. Yeah. They're back, Habibi, let's go. <laughs> All right, yep, we're arriving to the uh, Fragrant Nature Kochi, guys. So I'm excited to check this place out. Let's head on in. All right, guys, so we're walking into the lobby here. And let me tell you this, the vibrancy is amazing. As you can look in here, I want to say it's like maybe a Portuguese design. And the layout, we've got a massive painting here. Wow, there's so much to look at, so much to see. I'm even going to take a seat on this little chair. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a nice little vibe right there. Wow, this thing stretches all the way up there. We got the natural light coming in. All right, I think we're gonna like this place a lot, guys. We're gonna like it a lot. Water is that? Lime water. Lime water, oh, that's gonna be delicious. Nice and refreshing right when we arrive here. And your good name? Sukenya. Sukenya, nice to meet you. My name's Mac. Thank you. Oh, this looks delicious, guys. It's gonna be nice and refreshing. Oh yeah, very good. Ice cold. Went straight into the system, and let me tell you, we're feeling great now. Guys, I was just checking in, and I saw the headline here on the Times of India, and we've got, make the move to Mac. Let me tell you, I endorse that statement. <laughs> Guys, it's just a MacBook Pro, it's not actually me, but uh, that would be cool. Guys, I will say, I like the uh, check-in process here. Instead of going up to the front desk, they sit you down here, and then fill out all the information while you're relaxing, so that's a nice start to it. All right, guys, so we're heading up to the room right now. We just went up to the fourth floor. So as you can see, we're close to the rooftop area. We got our good man showing us around here, yeah? Mm -hmm. All right, 409, that's gonna be the palace. So in just a moment, we'll take you guys for a room tour. All right, we got the baggage here, perfect. Thank you, my friend, your good name? Lupi. Lupi? Lupi. Lupi, nice to meet you. Thank, Thank you so much, you. really appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys, so we are gonna take you with us for a tour through the hotel room now. So let's start it off. Got some space to put the luggage. A wardrobe. Oh, there we go. And inside here, we got a couple robes, but it's just me, so I guess I get to wear two robes at once. That'll be great. Let's try it on. Hello, Sarah. 
One more road, please, sire. We're doubling down today. Oh. Ah. There we go. Much better there, sire. All right, they fit. And over here, I like this. We've got filtered drinking water done very nicely. And it looks like I would call this maybe a reusable type of bottle. Quite sustainable there. We also have, looks like complimentary teas and coffees. Coffee maker up top. In here, we've got a fridge. Nothing in there. Oh, what do we got right here? When you're feeling bleak and blue and have no clue what to do, sit down and have a coffee. One, two, or maybe three. Jeez, they know my entire life story. I love drinking coffees. All right, well, let's check out the uh, bathroom in here. I'm guessing those are the light switches. Those two. Oh. Oh, there we go. So you click them on. Okay, very nice job. The fragrance in here, which actually makes sense because the name of the hotel, Fragrant Nature, very fresh. And you feel like when you walk in, like a strong sense of cleanliness. This is one of those smells, guys, I wish I could share with you through the camera. Check the water pressure. Oh, yeah. That's good. We got uh, toilet, toilet paper, bum gun, and also pretty nice size shower, generally speaking. Uh, quite a lot of space here. Let's try out the shower. Uh... Wow, all right, a nice little shower there, guys. I dried off quite quickly. On the side over here, we also have a bunch of different shower gels, so that looks very nice. And then over here, we also have dental kit, vanity kit. So all the essentials you need if you guys didn't bring any fresh towels in there as well. And then in here, we've got a nice size bed. I want to say that's, I think that's, yeah, that's a king size bed right there. TV. And let's check out the bed here. All right. Oh, those pillows are feeling good. Oh, uh oh, guys, I'm sensing it. I'm sensing it. <laughs> Oh, I was falling asleep on you guys there. That's how you know it's a comfortable bed. Anyways, we've got a good workstation, guys, as we're gonna be editing some of these videos, probably including this one. And we've got a nice little spot to take a seat right there. So relaxing area. The nice part is you got some good views out this way of, it looks like the port in the distance. We have all those eagles flying around. You see that, guys? Let's see if we can see it from this window. And look at them all up there. They're just circling. Hawks or eagles, I can't really tell from here. Wow. Yeah, so that's it, guys. So really nice room, I'll say. Very comfortable. Like I said before, I'm paying roughly like $70 per night for two nights. So so pretty good price anyways. Uh, you know, like to be able to stay in a five-star hotel in India, in Kochi, in a uh, pretty popular town here, to pay that is, I would say, is still like a really great deal. And um, we're going to go ahead and take you guys now for a tour around the hotel. All right, guys, it's actually been like five hours since I gave you the room tour. But now we're finally heading up. And to be honest, you'll be happy we're heading up now because as you'll see in just a second here the sun is setting which is the best time to enjoy this space up here so we just walked up the steps we're on the fifth floor we got the washroom we got the swimming pool this way and the swimming pool right there wow we're gonna be testing that out in just a moment but first we're gonna go up the spiral staircase which leads right up here and this guys is the clock tower on top of the iconic hotel We've got a crow there with its mouth open. Wait, need some chow. Hungry, my guy? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. The one with the mouth open. Yeah, you. Who do you think I'm talking to? Uh huh. Well, enjoy the chow. All right. Thanks for coming to my uh, episode there. Now, this is the view from up here, guys. That fragrant nature. Pretty stunning. Hello, my friend. How are things? Very good. Nice staff that works here. And we got a good. Hello, my friend. And as you guys can see. These are the views, so instead of me talking about it, let's go ahead and show you. Guys, that was a beautiful sunset captured by the drone. Wow, and here is the view from up here. It's time to test out the pool here. That's next on this list as we tour around this hotel. From when I felt it earlier, it was super hot. So, all right. Oh, it's cooled off a lot. When I checked the temperature earlier today, it was boiling. Now it's much better. So after walking around all day, I think the best way to do it, to walk over here and 
Here we go. Oh, that is nice. And, oh, cooled off, lots of water up the nose, but what do you expect? Oh, that feels fantastic, guys. Much needed. This is more of an evening pool, guys. Hopefully the audio is not too crackly after going underwater. But it's not a, it's not a pool in terms of the temperature that you want to go in during the day, during the summer months, like March, April, May. But that's probably because it gets so hot here in the day. It just absolutely heats up the pool so much. But it's really nice. Otherwise, ah. Oh yeah, we got the wet t-shirt contest going on. Literally soaked well. Everything's see-through right now. Fresh towels right here, that'll do. All right, pool test has been complete. That's quite nice. I think it's time for dinner, so I'm gonna go dry off, guys, and I'll see you on the other side. Oh, all right, guys, I just got a great night's sleep here. I didn't end up going to dinner. I just needed to get a little sleep because I didn't sleep as much the night before. But we're gonna be heading right over to where this note says, breakfast at Zamarin. So let's head on down there, guys. All right, guys, we're heading on down. I guess breakfast is on the first floor, so we'll be cruising down there and get some chow going. Oh. We're going up. Hi. Hello, my friend. How are you? Uh, never been better, and you? I'm fine. Yeah, very good. We're taking the and we're going to zero. That's where the breakfast is. Yes, of course. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. All right, that looks like the breakfast spot right over here. Zamarin. Let's see, I think we're the last ones in here. <laughs> good morning, my friend. Namaskara. How are you? Good, and you? Your good name? Bibin. Bibin. Yes, sir. Uh, nice to meet you, Bibin. Thank you, sir. I can sit wherever? Yeah, we can sit. Perfect. Then I think I'll take this spot. Good breakfast here? Yes, sir. Oh, fantastic. Like this coming to your coffee? Uh, yeah, coffee, oh, please, with a little milk in there. Sure. Yeah, thank you, my hot friend. Milk, hot milk? Uh, hot milk, yes. Yeah. Or cold coffee. You have cold coffee? Yeah. Oh, perfect. We'll do cold coffee then. Sure. And a fresh cup of water, perfect. Thank you, my friend. Oh, there we go, some fantastic presentation of the cold coffee, guys. I think there's only one way to test this one out, and that is to slam it. Mm. Ah, that one was for Harry. Oh. We're back in business, we're wired, we're ready to go. And it's a uh, buffet here? I think it is. Wish I would've known that. Is it a buffet, my friend? Yes. Ah, perfect. All right, sweet. I will take a cruise through here then. All right, so we've got a whole bunch of stuff here, yeah? Let's see, we're gonna do a quick little walk through here. We got baked beans, porridge. We've got boiled eggs, chicken sausages. I'm gonna start out with some chicken sausages. That's a go-to. Oh yeah, we'll get a couple of those on there. Yum, that looks good. We've got some treats on this side. Sandwiches, cinnamon rolls. All right, probably try out. Actually, I'm gonna try out croissants there. That'll do. Some butter. And is it possible to uh, get an omelet made? Yeah, yeah. masala, sunny side of fried egg. Uh, actually, let's go with an omelet. Just no mushrooms, please. Sure. Yeah, thank no you, mushroom. my friend. No mushrooms. All right, and we've got some traditional items here. Not entirely certain what those are, but let's give it a shot. I think that's supposed to stay up like that. All right, looks kind of like a, uh, a rice patty. Not entirely certain though. It's called idli. Might be pronouncing that wrong. So we got chutney, baked beans. Let's try this one out then. There we go. Another, like, not a, like a dosa slave. Hmm? Dosa, dosa. Oh, I don't know if I have enough room for the dosa. Tomorrow. Tomorrow yeah. for the dosa, sure. yeah? Thank you, my friend. All right. That is going to be what we're starting out with. We got the omelet in process. All right, let's try out the chicken sausages first. See how those taste. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Juicy. Thinly sliced, I haven't had them actually like that before. These will go very well when I pop the croissant open, lay a couple of those on there along with the omelet. Yum, 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 I think so. Mm. And then, I'm very curious to try this. Kind of feels like a squishy little bread. It smells interesting. Let's put some of the uh, stuff on it. Mm. It's like a, it's almost like a uh, slightly soggy bread. Chewy, it's good. Interesting texture to it. I'm still, I need another, another forkful to the side. I like it. It's pretty good. 
not my favorite thing I've had in India, but I don't dislike it. I definitely do like it. The quality of it's good. It's just more whether I like this type of food, and I'd say I do. But uh, dosa is my go-to, so tomorrow will have to be a dosa. Now we're going to prepare for that omelette. I'm going to open up this croissant. Croissant is a little hard. Are you noticing that? Yeah, very hard. Which either means that's its style or it's been left out a while. Honestly, it's super, super hard. We'll put a couple chicken sausages on there. Get ready for the sammy. And then we'll just be waiting on the, uh, the omelette to finish that off. Hello, my friend. Everything's good? All right, guys, we just got the omelet delivered. As you can see, that is what we call a Sammy right there. Mmm, very well-made omelet here. Nice and puffy. Delicious. Mmm, I love when an omelet's made like this because it's got a proper amount of fluff on the inside. It's like slightly less cooked than the outside. The outside's got a nice like golden crisp to it and the inside's still chewy enough to enjoy. And it goes nicely together. Mmm, mmm. That is G-O-O-D, good, uh, good guys. All right, let's try it with the croissant. I'm a little nervous though, because the croissant was hard. Ooh, hot. Mm. All right, croissant's, uh, croissant's a no-go. I think croissant was a day old. We're gonna be, we're gonna say no to the croissant. Sorry guys, I don't like to waste food, but in this case, I think that's just an old croissant. But uh, we'll still go with the chicken sausage. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Very tasty. Mm. All right, guys, I think it's time to head up, get a little workout session and up at the gym. So let's head on up there and see if we can get that going. So it seems like on this floor, we've got quite a few options. We've got a bar over here, Purple Dusk, Smoking Room Banquet Hall, Specialty Restaurant. So quite a few things down here. That is floor number two. And on the other side, there's even a spot, which sounds kind of nice, I'm not gonna lie. And then up on this floor, guys, we actually have a library. That's right, a library. So they've got this side where you got some hangout seats. Let's test out how they feel. Oh, all right, they look nice, a little hard, but uh, definitely good for reading. Oh, ah, now that's comfortable. Oh, falling asleep even in the library. Plenty of books to read over here. And it seems like the library even extends to this side. No books there, no books there. Hmm. The thing I like a lot about this hotel is it almost feels like this part is outside even though I don't think it is. Like I think it's still considered inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause there's a roof in there. But it kind of gives an outside feel cause it's a little warmer than like inside the actual rooms. And it looks like down this way we've got a business center. Let's go check that out. This business center right here, guys. All right, so here's the business center. Oh, even a conference room in here. All right, what do you think, guys? Have a little meeting? Hello, good morning, everyone. Today's agenda we're gonna be going through is gonna be a 30 minute meeting and we're gonna be telling you all of your action points today in the project meeting. So, please put your phones away and get ready for a big day. Huzzah! Whoa, that was like a flashback to the corporate world. All right, that was a long enough meeting for me. I gotta get out of here. Let's get these lights off, though. There we go. Too much office work for me. I'm out of here. Oh, these light switches confuse me. There we go. Like some of them you double tap, almost like a piano. And then once you double tap it, then it goes off. All right, let's head up to the next floor, see if there's anything over there. The natural light is such a vibe though, how it just comes through the top and lights us up. I think that's probably what makes it feel like it's outside is because of that large amount of natural light. All right, we're getting up on the third floor here. Another little hangout spot. We've got an executive lounge this way. Let's see what's down here then. And here we are, executives. All right, oh yeah. Doesn't look like too many people are using it today, but it's a nice vibe. Could definitely have some nice business meetings in here as well. Spacious, probably could even have a small party. 40, 50 people in here. Oh yeah, too bad it's just me. And now we're heading up fourth floor. Fourth floor, which is my floor, happens to be where the gym is too. Let's head on over there and get a good workout in. 
Hello, gymnasium. All right, and I'm guessing it's right above the business center. Oh yeah, there it is. Gym entrance here. All right, so there's the gym, guys. Uh, oh, I just realized I'm in flip-flops and clothes. Let's change the clothes real quick. Whoa, oh. All right, I guess that's how you change real quick. Back at it. Anyways, guys, a little tour of the gym for you. So it seems like we've got enough equipment to get a proper workout. To be honest, there could be a couple more machines in here because there actually is like some space right there, right there. But I will say there's enough to get a workout in. You got a couple treadmills for cardio, bike over there. We have some free weights as well as enough machines. If you are good at watching all these different options, it looks like there's so many different ways. So yeah, there, there's enough here to get uh, a proper workout in guys. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. Let's do it. Oh yeah, feeling that one guys, I'll tell you that. Ah, pretty nice workout guys. Feeling much better. There's one way to uh, keep the mind happy and that is to at least get a little workout in. It is a Saturday for me right now, so I was moving a little slower today, but after getting that in, I'm feeling much better. Oh, looks like we just got a fresh cleaning in here. Yeah, that was really nice, guys. While I was in the gym, they timed it out perfectly for the entire time that I was in the gym. They came in here, cleaned everything up, washed the floors, brought in some fresh waters there, and cleaned the bathroom up, so. Very nice, I appreciate that level of like patience because they never called me and said, hey sir, when can we clean your room? So the fact that they you know, were maybe just uh, making sure that they didn't disrupt me and just cleaned as soon as I was leaving the room was very nice. So I like that, thank you guys very much. Guys, we're gonna see if we can locate some dinner, but I'm not entirely certain we're gonna get that lucky. Let's head on down and see what we can work out. Guys, the good news, Terrace Barbecue is open until 11 p.m. So that means we've got 20, 30 minutes left to chow down, because I'm pretty hungry, I'm not gonna lie. And we have arrived. All right, we've got the, the lights decoration up there. And we've got a certified vibe over here. Mm. I guess we're getting one entire table to ourselves. Well, I guess we'll have to work with that. Hello, my friend. Are you still serving dinner tonight? Yeah. Perfect. So I came just in time? Yeah. Are there any smaller tables or am I taking uh, this whole one? I'm just sitting over there. I'll that table. Over there? I'll take that one. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Thank you. That's good. That's good. So as you guys can see, we've got the a la carte menu to chow down on. So we've got a couple different options. We've got a bunch of veg options here. Oh, butter chicken. I will say that's the first thing that's called my name. So we're going to give it a little look to see. But uh, so far, I'm pretty sold on that. And let's check out what else we've got in here. Got rice, fried rice. Oh, noodles, though. You know, you can never go wrong with chicken noodles. And that's one of my favorites for sure. And a lot of desserts. But to be honest, I don't need any desserts today. Paratha. Oh, don't talk dirty to me like that. Don't talk dirty to me like that. You know I love my paratha bread. And then some sandwiches. All day menu. You know what? All right. Right now, guys, I'm either between the chicken noodles, the chicken fried rice, or where was it? Where was the other one that I saw? How can I not see it anymore? Was it the butter chicken? I know it was the butter chicken. I just don't know where that was. Non-veg. Butter chicken. There we go. All right. I'm going to have to go with that one. It's done. It's over. How are we doing, brother? Uh, very good. Very good. Could I please have... Um, Oh, the mosquitoes are coming out tonight. What would you recommend? This is the uh, butter chicken pretty good? Or you recommend something better? Or some, you, what would you get? You got better recommendation? Okay. How are we doing, my friend? Yes, sir. So what do you recommend for uh, something to eat here? Yes, sir. What do you recommend for uh, non-veg? Yeah. Uh, you like South Indian or North Indian? Uh, whatever, what tastes better? This is South Indian is better with the coconut milk and coconut oil. Oh, alright. 
And there's if one. If you like to have the Kerala paratha or the chicken roast, it's a wonderful. Let's do that one. Kerala chicken roast. Yeah. With paratha bread. Uh, it's a Kerala paratha. Oh, perfect. That's a good one. Yeah. It's Chewy. Yeah, sure. Perfect. All right, let's do that. And then uh, one cup of uh, probably cold water at this point, or yeah, probably cold water. Which one? Cold water. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I think this is somebody else's. Yeah. Thank, Thank you so much. You. Oh, fast forward, guys. Yep, I just teleported to the stairs. Now the reason being is the mosquitoes got a little strong and I'm not wearing many clothes. I'm wearing a tank top and shorts. So if I was up there with a little bug spray, I'd be perfect, but I didn't prepare. So we're gonna head back and have the meal delivered here and I'll share with you guys my reactions once it arrives. All right, as you guys can see here, they were nice enough to bring it down to the room instead. Oh, look at this. Oh, let's try a little. Mm. Mmm, Kerala paratha bread. Oh, baby, baby. Oh, damn. That is looking good. Oh, yes, yes, yes. As we say, guys, get in my belly. Yeah, you can see I switched over to the rope. I had the air conditioner on a little too cold in here. So when I got in here, I was like, Eek, better take a warm shower real quick and warm up. So as you guys can see right there, that's the chicken. Mmm, that's hot. Mm. Ooh, very hot. Got a proper amount of spice there. Like you guys probably know at this point, I've got a pretty good spice tolerance. And so for me, I like that level of spice quite a bit. I'm very intrigued by the uh, paratha from Kerala because it's kind of like stringy potatoes almost. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. You just can't go wrong with that paratha bread. But yeah, like the interesting part is since it's so stringy, it's like, how do I turn this into a burrito? Let's let's see if we can figure it out, guys. Set you guys up right about right about there. So we'll do is we'll grab a little bit of the oh oh that paratha bread is very hot. You can probably see it steaming, guys. And we're gonna toss that just like that. Set it up for a nice little burrito. Grab one of these little chick pieces. And oh, you already know. If you're about to guess, am I rolling it up? You guessed right. You guessed spot on. And look at that thing. Oh, hello, hello, beautiful. All right. Well, let's try it out. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. All oh, those flavors, guys. That chicken mixed with the paratha bread, the chew that you get from it, there's just like nothing else. Mmm. 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 -mm. Oh, yeah. That chicken, it's juicy. It's spicy. It is so, so good. Mm -hmm. So I'd say, guys, overall, a very, very delicious meal here. It was nice that we could have it in the room, too. Kind of a nice little treat because I never get room service, even though it was kind of like 50% room service because I was at the restaurant and then came down. But either way, yeah, they're very accommodating here. Really enjoyed my stay. And so, yeah, guys, for that entire meal, I paid about 750 rupees, which is about nine dollars and 77 cents so really good price for you know five star level uh hotel quality food and so yeah so yeah guys that is my stay here staying at the fragrant nature it's been a really nice time and i hope you guys have enjoyed the journey exploring this place and if you guys have it would be amazing if you could smash that like button if you want to see more videos both here in india as well as all around the world hit that subscribe button below and i'll see you guys tomorrow